<laughs> Why do we sneeze? Sneezing is our body's way of clearing irritants from our nose or throat. When dust, pollen, smoke, or germs tickle the sensitive lining of our nasal passages, our brain signals a rapid response. Our diaphragm contracts, our lungs fill with air, and a coo, a burst of air and particles shoot out at speeds up to 100 miles per hour. This reflex helps protect our respiratory system from invaders. Mm. Huh? Why do we sleep? We sleep because our bodies and brains need time to rest, recover, and recharge. During sleep, the brain processes memories, repairs cells, and releases hormones that help growth and healing. Sleep also strengthens the immune system, keeping us healthy. Without enough sleep, we feel tired, forgetful, and less focused. Our internal clock, circadian rhythm, tells us when to sleep and wake up. Good sleep improves mood, energy, and overall health. <laughs> Why does Neptune have a dark spot? Neptune's dark spot is considered a large storm system with high winds similar to the great red spot on Jupiter. The darkening of the spot is likely caused by a combination of atmospheric gases and particles that are darker than the surrounding clouds, possibly including hydrogen sulfide. Also, Neptune's dark spots are not a permanent feature as they can appear and disappear over time due to Neptune's dynamic atmosphere. Why does a corpse flower stink? The corpse flower stinks to attract pollinators like flies and beetles that love the smell of rotting meat. Its foul odor comes from chemicals also found in decaying animals such as sulfur compounds. Hmm. Now, when the flower blooms, it also starts heating up, spreading its nasty smell even farther, making it seem like a warm, fresh carcass. These bugs, fooled by the stink, land on the flower and help pollinate it. Hence, the corpse flower stinks. Hmm. Why do birds sing loudly in the morning? Firstly, male birds often sing in the morning to impress potential mates. Hmm. Secondly, there is less noise in the morning. This allows the birds' songs to travel further, thus making communication more effective. Hmm. Thirdly, as the light is too dim in the early mornings, singing seems like a productive way for birds to spend their time. Hmm. Lastly, after resting through the night, birds have replenished their energy reserves. Singing in the morning lets them use this energy burst. Hmm. Huh? Why exactly do bees buzz? Firstly, bees use vibrations to shake pollen off flowers and onto their bodies. This process is called buzz pollination and is used by bumblebees and other bees to gather pollen for their colonies. Secondly, bees produce different vibrations to communicate with each other. Thirdly, Bees produce high-pitched buzzes as a warning or defensive signal. Mm. Lastly, bees produce thermogenic buzzes to generate heat. Mm. Why are helicopters so noisy? When the main rotor of a helicopter starts rotating, the blades start spinning. Due to this spinning, air pressure above the blades starts dropping, while air pressure below the blade starts increasing. Now, air from high pressure area starts moving to low pressure area. This produces a lift, which causes the helicopter to rise. At the same time, a vortex is generated by the tip of a rotor blade. When this vortex hits the next advancing blade, the blade vibrates. The vibrations of the blade generate a loud sound. Hmm. How high do planes fly? 
commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Huh? Why isn't the Leaning Tower of Pisa falling down? Firstly, the Leaning Tower of Pisa doesn't fall because a line drawn from the tower's center of gravity to the ground passes through its base. Hmm. Secondly, the relationship between the tower's height and rigidity and the softness of the soil keeps the tower from falling. Hmm. Lastly, the long construction delays allowed the ground to become compact and the structure to settle, thus making the tower's foundation stronger over time. Hmm. Why are there so many pigeons? Pigeons, as we know today, are said to have descended from a wild creature known as the rock dove. It is believed that about 10,000 years ago, people began domesticating as well as breeding rock doves primarily for food. Over time, people realized that pigeons had excellent navigational skills. Pigeons started being used to guide lost ships towards land as well as to carry messages over long distances. Eventually, instead of looking at pigeons as a food source, people started breeding them as a hobby. Hmm. What is the science behind muscle growth? Firstly, for muscle growth, we need to apply stress, which is greater than what our muscles are used to. This leads to mTOR and satellite cell activation. Both are responsible for muscle growth. Hmm. Secondly, when one feels sore after a workout, one may be experiencing localized muscle damage. This leads to the activation of satellite cells, which are said to be responsible for muscle growth. <laughs> hmm. Lastly, pump training, as in doing repetitions at a fast speed with short rest intervals, causes metabolic stress. Metabolic stress causes cell swelling around the muscles, thus making them appear larger. Hmm. Huh? Why does a cat eat grass? Firstly, the most common reason cats eat grass is to help vomit up hairballs that accumulate in their digestive tract due to grooming. Secondly, grass can act as a natural laxative to help the cats with constipation. Thirdly, some people believe that grass contains nutrients like folic acid that may be beneficial to a cat's diet. Lastly, some people also believe that cats might also just like the taste and feeling of chewing the grass. Mm.